scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee, my soul, tested for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and weary land where no water is. And this is why I seek for you. Verse 2. It says to see thy power and thy glory reproduced in my life the same way I saw it in the sanctuary. It's not enough to see power in the church and on crusade grounds. Lord, I want that spiritual reality to be at work in my life. Years ago, when I sensed the call of God upon my life, please listen. I began to study books and study men and women. I studied large churches and ministries. And I found out as I studied that there were so many people who were powerless and could not do much. And when God began to describe to me the kind of ministry and the dimensions that he would want me to walk in I knew that I would have to spend time with God until I touched something genuine otherwise I would have to join the band of people misleading and deceiving themselves and other people speaking with no results and then I began a journey exploring spiritual power I began to study the lives of men and women who had been used mightily. Unfortunately, I did not find many of them that were models enough. I began to study the generals. I began to study the apostles, Elijah. Hallelujah. And in the course of my journey, for me, it was a matter of life and death. It was not just for my name. I knew that I would confront sick people. I knew that I would confront oppressed people. I knew that it would take power for any kind of increase in ministry. Spiritually, numerically and otherwise. I knew posters would only do so much. I knew English would only do so much. And I made up my mind that I have no message for God's people until I have the power to prove it. Please pay attention to what I'm sharing. This is an exhortation. I want to stir up your heart. I watch in sincere grief as I see a lot of men of God and people who want to be used by God with so much zeal, so much English, but no power. And then a few who have touched what they believe to be power convince themselves that because they touched someone and he fell down. Why do you need spiritual power? I'll tell you. Pastor Alpha and Manasseh shared it very powerfully. There are giants on every mountain. Please pay attention. This city has gates. That you are here is a sign of dominion. It's not a sign of the absence of darkness. It's a sign of the prevailing power of God over them. 
there are many lives here that have been buffeted by darkness I talk to people all the time and I minister, I minister all the time and I watch with shock the way Satan prevails cheaply over the lives of people there are doors that will never open until power opens them when Moses went to Pharaoh there was very little conversation when the conversations were done it was an encounter of power are you getting what I'm sharing tonight? And then I began to pray. I remember when I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. He never spoke a word to me. But he transferred power. Never spoke one word. But something left him and entered my spirit. He said, the entrance of your word giveth light. And understanding unto the simple. I remember when I began to see the miracles and the hand of God. Then I began to see other issues that I could not contend with in the lives of people. And I knew that I had to go back. And that was when I learned that you must consistently contend for spiritual power. Let me tell you something. There is too much noise in the church because there is little power. You will always have to explain and explain and explain. Paul said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech. He says, but I came to you in the demonstration of the spirit. power, That your faith will not be upon the wisdom of men, but upon the power of God. Tonight, I want to guide us through a few secrets my personal spiritual journey I promise you that if you pay attention to this little exhortation you will encounter power Jacob was a man who met with the Lord and he held on to him he said I will not let you go it was an encounter with power he said leave me for the day break it he said no way I said what is your name he said my name is Jacob a cheat and a supplanter and it says from now henceforth your name is changed to Israel for as a prince you have fought with God you have contended with God and prevailed a time must come in a man's life when you'll be tired of the level you are and cry in desperation Lord I need your power and your glory in my life there are gates many of us come from all kinds of regions hear me your personal salvation does not deliver your territory. The gates are still there. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are giants on every mountain. The Bible says, How terrible art thou in your works? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. I remember Bishop Oyedeko sharing one time and he said how that the church was not growing. They were fasting. They were praying and doing all they knew to do and it was not growing. And then one time while they gathered with the brethren and they were angry at the situation, he said the Lord asked him to come out and when he stepped out, he saw a dark cloud. And he said, this is the cloud that makes people to misunderstand your ministry. And he commanded the cloud to roll away. And there was an explosion. Let me tell you something. Time does not change anything. It is power that brings change. Time only reveals. It does not change. For 38 years, the man was sitting at Bethesda. But when the power of God came upon It is power that can give you audacity to be able to bring heaven to bear. To be able to bring the realities of the realm of the spirit here and now. It takes power to change an SS genotype to an AA. It takes power to open the door of marriage for a lady that it has been closed. It takes power for a woman without womb to get pregnant. It takes power 
for someone whose life has been tied forever through the greatness of thy power I made up my mind that I have no ministry if I cannot demonstrate his validity three keys very quickly and then we are going to pray the first secret the Lord taught me before we talk on the keys let me just give us a little preamble first john chapter 5 verse 9 help us media first john 5 verse 19 very simple but interesting revelation that god gives us there first john 5 verse 19 can we read it together as projected one to read can you read it louder one to read Although we are of God, I'm giving you an information that the whole cosmos, the social system, lieth in wickedness. Please believe this. That the whole world lies in wickedness. You don't need to offend anybody. The condition to be a victim or a potential victim of the curse that comes upon creation is that you are born of a woman for as long as you arrive here safely from birth until you transit there is a potential for disaster it takes power to reign it says rule thou in the midst of your enemies rule thou pastors hear me if your ministry must move from where it is you can have all the connection in the world it takes spiritual power. Hallelujah. It takes power for anything to happen in this life. The first key to spiritual power is consecration. Write it down. Don't trivialize what I'm sharing. If you want to see the power and the anointing of the spirit upon your life, the first key is not praying in tongues. The first key is a life of consecration. What does it mean to be consecrated? It means to be yielded. It means to be aligned. It means to be separated unto God. Consecration is a reflection of your submission. A dedication that you have given your whole self spirit soul and body you have laid down your will i see so many people who want power but they still own their wills let me tell you something if it is true spiritual power you want to see in your life your will must die your personal will your ambition you must be willing to lay it aside if you want power with God you cannot take the power of God and fulfill your own agenda you must die to your agenda are you getting blessed spiritual power is not a gift make no mistakes about it not everything in the kingdom is a gift there are things that are rewards consecration the price of yieldedness the centurion when jesus came he made a statement he said for i am a man under authority and on the strength of my submission to an authority i can tell one go and he will go i can tell one come and jesus looked at him a roman citizen with such an understanding of the kingdom forget about spiritual power when your will is still alive you want to run your life by your own terms by your own way so many pastors are doing their ministry their church so many businessmen are doing their business until it becomes god's own forget about power dedication consecration i'll never forget one time when i was praying it was it, it's not a doctrine it's my personal cause. i had to i was praying and i had to stand before god lay down i stood 
naked from head to toe and I say Lord I'm dedicated by this prophetic act my spirit my soul and my body let this mortal body become a superconductor of your anointing I give it to you I have no ambition of my own my entire life is around the circumference of his will you want to see the power of God upon your life you must come to a point where you die to your will do not think God will give you power to do your thing no it will have to be at his terms that's what was happening to Jacob he touched his tie and made him everly dependent on an authority other than himself there are so many people who are not consecrated to God it takes dedication. It takes total surrender. That's the word. Surrender. Surrender. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Anoint my everything. Use my everything. I release my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. You gave your everything. So I give my everything. You gave your everything. I give my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. This is the key. This is what I did with my life. Lord, take everything. Take my ambition. Take my destiny. Take everything that means life to me. I surrender it to you. And God says, if you can give me everything. He says, for because you did not withhold your son. That was the key. Consecration is not just about religious rituals. It's about a state of surrender. A state where you know that he becomes your life. It's a realm in the spirit called Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And the life that I live in the body. The flesh. I live by the faith of the son. Are you willing to give up everything? The problem is many of us are not willing to give up everything. Because we have been able to educate ourselves falsely. That every time you surrender all to God, he makes you a failure. Every time you give up to God, he, he, will, he will destroy your life. But he says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. If it is your business, get set to die. If it is your marriage, get set for the pressure to kill you. If they are your children, get set to kill yourself raising them. But when it becomes his own. This song that we sing, they all belong to you. Even the air that we breathe, it all belongs to you, belongs to you, belongs to you. That's the anthem of my life. There's nothing in my life that belongs to Joshua Selman. It belongs to you. Listen, I have transferred every responsibility to him. I will play my part, but it belongs to him. My life is not my own. I have no ambition of myself. My breath belongs to him. My strength belongs to him. This is the first secret of spiritual power. Consecration. That life of surrender. Believe me. So many men of God run around with dots of oil 
looking for anybody that is anointed and they kneel down with their carnality and flesh you can soak yourself inside one jerry can of anointing oil you will only get up littered with oil but you will not touch power with God you want power with God the first secret is surrender I'm not talking of born again I'm talking of him taking everything he says behold I stand at the door and knock he was speaking to the church but he was still crying for intimacy Number two, the second secret of spiritual power is revelation and insight. Revelation and insight. Ephesians chapter 1, please. Let's look at verse 18. Paul the apostle prayed a prayer to the church in Ephesus. And he made an interesting statement. Help us please. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18. He says that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened, flooded with light. Then he says that ye may know. When the eyes of your understanding is flooded with light, you know. You come into oneness with a reality. It doesn't just mean to be aware. It's not talking of awareness. It's talking of a state of oneness where you and that reality have become one. He says that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints 19 and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power the bible says now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above all that we ask or imagine but all of that is limited to the power that works within us. Light and illumination. When light breaks open over your spirit, please hear me. When illumination breaks open, authority is given to you in the spirit. One time I was in a vision. I've shared it here a number of times. And while I was in a vision, I saw a big door, giant gate, and when I looked closely, it was zoomed to me, and I looked at it closely, and I found out that that big door was made of smaller doors, and on every door, there was a scriptural inscription on it. I saw the doors opening and closing, and every time they opened light, like an arrow would just shoot out of it, and then the Lord began to reveal to me, that this is what happens when people catch a revelation of a dimension of truth the light the power the anointing to demonstrate its validity is released upon them meaning when you teach a thing you cannot demonstrate you have not caught the light yet no matter how you pretend it illumination illumination this is part of the benefit of prayer that when you pray, capacity is given to you in the spirit. It's like a, a, an elevation in the spirit that tilts you in a position where you are able to see clearer. And on the strength of that illumination, you will walk. Hallelujah. There are so many people groping around. Dominion, I've said it again and again. Dominion is not an impartation. You don't receive an impartation called dominion. No. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the laws and the mysteries of the kingdom. The scripture Pastor Alpha shared in Job 38, he was trying to quote it. Verse 33, he says, Knowest thou the ordinances of the heavens and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth? Do you know the laws that govern the realm of the spirit? And can you establish their dominion? There is something that if you know right now, the door that has been closed over you will open. There is an access to light. There is something when a pastor knows, increase becomes unlimited. There is something when a man of God knows, 
his life becomes a mystery. Every man functions according to the measure of light that is accessible to him. The Bible says you will only arise and shine to the degree to which your light has come. Not when you are tired of sitting. Arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Let me tell you a little secret. Especially if you are in, in ministry. There is a level of spiritual illumination that begins to rise from your life and your ministry. It starts attracting a kind of people. First, it will attract Gentiles. Kings will not come yet. Kings don't come to your life. They come to the brightness. So there is a degree of illumination you have that will begin to bring certain people. But as the light keeps getting brighter, it will begin to compel certain kinds of people. Light. Illumination. I'm not just talking of Bible study. I'm talking about access to the mysteries of the kingdom. It says, call on to me. And that's why we are praying tonight. Because we need access to light. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call on to me and I will answer. It says, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. There are things we do not know. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants. Not everything is accessible to everyone. When Saul and his men watch this. Uh, was it Saul or David now? I can't get the story quite clearly. But when they were returning back, they were tired and hungry. And they went to the priest and asked. They said, we want bread. Here's what the priest said. They said he said, there is no ordinary bread. The common bread is finished. But there is a hallowed bread. There are deeper things in the spirit. Weightier dimensions of illumination that can turn a man to become like a spirit. But it happens when you call upon him. He says, call unto me. When the king wanted to destroy Daniel and all his friends, he said, let the king not be hasty in this. I will bring the king a right answer. He went back and called upon him and his eyes were open. He says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. Brothers and sisters, hear me. The next dimension of our life and destinies are at the mercy of spiritual secrets and mysteries. This ministry by the grace of God is revolving around mysteries. Spiritual mysteries. A mystery is a hidden code of operation. It's a spiritual code of operation that only takes the agency of the Holy Ghost for you to understand its operation. And it says it has been given unto you to know. There is a mystery that will command dominion in your family. That all those powers of darkness that attempt to tie people's destinies down. Illumination. Number three. The third key to walking in spiritual power is being and remaining full of the Holy Ghost. Being full of the Holy Ghost. Full of the Holy Ghost. There are different measures and dimensions of the Holy Spirit that can find expression in people. But if you want spiritual power in your life, let me tell you there is no laziness. You must be full of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. It was, it was Stephen. While he was about to be stoned, the Bible says he was full of the Holy Ghost and power. To a point that his face was like that of an angel. In Bible time, the condition to be a worker in the welfare department is that you are full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. That was a requirement. 
to serve tables, you must be full of the Holy Ghost. There are so many believers who are not full of the Holy Ghost. That's why we carry our emptiness and we keep embarrassing ourselves. And there is one spiritual key to being full of the Holy Ghost. Prayer. Prayer. The ministry of prayer with fasting. It's the key. Spiritual key. That's why we must pray. When you are full of the Holy Ghost, brothers and sisters, there is an energy that is generated within you. Every yoke is, the Bible gives us a picture. It's like an expansion that is happening. There is a level that expansion gets, it breaks every chain at once. At once. Full of the Holy Ghost. That's the level that we must contend. That you pray to a point where you become full of the Spirit. And certain things will happen to you the moment you are full of the Spirit. The Bible says, do not be drunk with wine. Wearing in excess. It says, but be ye filled with the Holy Ghost. If you are truly filled, naturally, certain things will start. You will start speaking. Not by your mental ascent. You are speaking as a response. Because when, when you are full of anything, whatever spirit or agency fills you up, begins to live out its nature through you manifesting its characteristics through you that's how people become superhuman they are full of the holy ghost to a point that they become puppets their voice is the voice of the spirit their hands have become the hands of the holy ghost so when they tell you god bless you they speak on the strength of the agency the only way to communicate being full of the holy spirit is being drunk when a man drinks to stupor there is a level to which he drinks and that, that alcohol influences his mind and his faculty and momentarily he loses consciousness. At that point, he will say things and do things that are a direct influence of that alcohol. When you become full of the Holy Spirit, then the spirit of prophecy will fall on you and you will begin to speak and call things that be not let me tell you something. The correct order of dominion prayers is to pray in tongues until you are full before you begin to prophesy. You don't just stand up and start saying, in Jesus' name, gates open. No. There is a dimension you stretch in the spirit. It's like an escape velocity. When you get there, the spirit of prophecy comes upon you. And you begin to make decrees. And I trust God that we'll get to that dimension tonight. That is the level where you can call things that be not as though they were. That is the level where the anointing will shatter every yoke when you are full of the Holy Spirit. But when that power is at work in your life, it begins to activate possibilities. Brothers and sisters, hear me. It takes power for the gate of your destiny to be opened. Every one of us here is on our way to destiny. But it takes power. Otherwise the gates will not open. Tonight, hear me. You are going to stand and pray until the chains that lock up the gate of your destiny give way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm preparing our hearts because we are going to pray. The devil must give up on you. You must pray until that spirit of barrenness jumps out of your life. You must pray until the chains that are tying down your life go. You must pray. There is a way you can pray yourself to victory. It's like a flight in the spirit. You keep praying. When the flesh is tired, you say, no way. When you keep ascending, you will get to a point in the spirit where you would have touched reality. Brothers and sisters, you will never come back again. It's an escape velocity in the spirit. And then you wake up and all of a sudden you see doors opening. Don't wait until a word of knowledge is given or a prophecy. Tonight we are praying ourselves to destiny. We are kings and priests. We will take on the priestly role first. We will stretch in the spirit. Are you hearing what I'm saying? James chapter 5 verse 13. 
is any man afflicted let him pray not let him discuss not let him complain is any man challenged by gates are there doors that have refused to open let him pray is any man jobless and you've done your applications and doors are not open pray your way to victory terminal diseases is because they have an occasion to lead to your flesh when you generate power in the spirit when you generate fire in the spirit it burns every chaff does any man desire to see signs and wonders and miracles in your ministry and in your life you pray, pray. pray. anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power let me repeat it anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power you can pray your way to victory in the spirit you can pray your way to favor and breakthrough you can pray your way and smash those doors he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder it takes prayer when the apostles were caught and james was beheaded it pleased herod the people were happy and they bound peter they were about to kill Peter and the church said no way and they began to pray prayer authorizes heaven to step in in your affairs when you pray you authorize heaven when you pray you activate the ministry of angels when you pray you begin the work of creation creation did not stop on the seventh day God only rested those who can access the power and the light Tonight, I want you to be angry with the things that have been happening in your life. Some of us are like a battery. We have gone down spiritually. You must pray yourself to fullness. There are so many men of God who do not pray. And they stand and do all kinds of gymnastics. Let me tell you something. Nothing in your life will cover for the absence of prayer. When a man is not a prayer man, it shows there is there is a touch of eternity upon you when you're a man of prayer for elijah was a man of like passion and he used prayer to lock the gates over a city he did not use a discussion with ahab prayer he locked the gate and kept the keys in his pocket he said that gate will not be open except at my word tonight you can pray yourself to victory inside and outside and all around there are families that have come tonight people have traveled from far and near it's time to pray yourself to victory pray yourself to victory until you are full of the holy ghost the key of consecration the key of illumination the key of prayer being full of the Holy Ghost you become a bank of spiritual power hear me let me say this especially this seems to work only for men of God it may not be applicable for other people but let me give pastors a secret the day power comes to your life poverty has died forever I guarantee you I, the day power comes upon your life genuine spiritual power not nonsense that people are doing around the day power comes you have gotten something that is worth it i was teaching the school of ministry students and i told them that if not for anything when you find the anointing you have found what is more than gold we trivialize the anointing hear me the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference Oh God, you are my God. Early, like we are doing, will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. I want to see your 
power and your glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Media, do you have this in the stream audio? They don't have it. There will be different sessions and I'm going to be leading the sessions. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying in tongues for one hour at a stretch non-stop. After that, when the spirit of prophecy is upon you, there is an anointing who anoints us and all of that and then we can minister to people but we need to pray. Do you have it? Are you ready with it? Okay, so quickly. Everyone is going to participate. We are going to pray. It takes prayer. It takes prayer. Everyone say it takes prayer to command victories. Say it takes prayer. That's what a vigil is. A vigil is not a time to sip tea and take lemon juice and, and banana cake. You are joking. A vigil is a time to tell the devil Christ has won this. I come to establish my victory. Listen. The breakthroughs that will arise from this prayer session will surprise many of you. You never know how cheap Satan is until you are a man of prayer. You never know how cheap doors can be. How cheap they can open. Pray. Pray. When you pray in the secret, then you make your life easy in the open. But when you do not pray, many of us pray, but we pray amiss. Tonight I want to teach you strategies, deep strategies for spiritual prayer that will produce results. That you are talking does not mean you are praying. There are many people who are talking for a long time and they leave that place with the same misery and frustration. There, there are dimensions and laws and there are rules of engagement. I don't know about you, but part of my request, I told God, I must step into new levels of grace in this vigil. Shortly before I came here, I lay down flat before the Lord and I said, Lord, my personal desire, I know you will use me to touch and bless your people. But whilst that is happening, I hold on to your garment. There is a new level. I saw in a vision a curtain open and there was another one and I was pushed forward. I said, that's it. I must pray till what I have seen. Many of you have seen things in your dream. Prayer is the weapon that you use to bring it to pass. You have seen a great life. You have seen a prosperous destiny. But there are gates. Make no mistakes about it. Your business will not just excel. There are gates. Sister, the marriage will not just happen. There are gates. But tonight, ministries and destinies will rise to a new level. Please, I'm saying this so that you will prepare your spirit. Prepare your spirit. Rise up, everybody. Inside and outside, please rise up. The first prayer point is a cry for grace. Call it the spirit of prayer and supplication. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, release upon me the spirit of prayer and supplication. Just pray. Please, everybody, rise. Rise, rise, rise. Stand on your feet. You came to pray. Do this for the sake of your destiny. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Will you open up the gate? Doors. Open up the gates. Open up the doors. Quick, 
Quicken us, O oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, O oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, O oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, O oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, O oh God, and we will call upon your name. Hallelujah. I want you to lift your voice and pray in one minute before we start praying properly. Say, Lord, I surrender everything to you. Lift your voice and pray. Take everything inside and outside, right to the back. Lord, I've tried to live my life my own way. I surrender everything. I surrender my will my ambition I surrender everything it belongs to you pray total surrender Lord, it belongs to you. The bread is yours. The gift is yours. The business is yours. The ministry is yours. It belongs to you. Hallelujah. Media, are you ready? Please let me know when you are ready. You are ready? Now, hallelujah. Dr. Cindy Trim is a woman of prayer. Cindy Trim is a woman with a strong prophetic grace for prayer. And we are going to be using her one hour prophetic declaration. She makes prophetic declarations. It's an audio while that is happening until it finishes is a guide the moment it starts we are stretching in the spirit no sleeping anyone who is sleeping hold his hands and walk around with them no sleeping praise the lord because this is about your destiny outside make sure you participate whatever you do be ready to stretch it in the spirit and i want you to imagine yourself ascending a ladder in the spirit where you are tearing down the walls of limitation. Hallelujah. Father, I stretch my hands over your people and I ask for a supply of grace to pray. Grace to pray. Let the spirit of prayer and supplication come upon you. Let the capacity, the capacity to stretch in the spirit. It cannot be by your efforts. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Praise the Lord. Lift your voice, everybody. Begin to pray in the spirit. Pray like a priest. Only in the spirit. Only in the spirit. Open your mouth and begin to blast in tongues. For as a prince. As a prince. This is not just your normal prayer life. I know, I know normally you pray. You are under a heavy unction. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. Your 
Bibles, please. Psalm 92. Psalm 92. We're entering another phase. Verse 10. Psalm 92, verse 10. I want us to read it together. One to read. One more time. Horn is a symbol of authority. Horn is a symbol of power. The anointing was usually put in a ram's horn. It says, but my horn shall thou exalt. Just like the horn of a unicorn is always above. You will exalt my he says and i shall be anointed with fresh oil listen the lord asked me to do this before we begin to minister to the sick and all of that this is ordinary oil but there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon this and this loses its earthly significance and takes on a heavenly significance this is an anointing that is coming upon you to bring freshness to your life this is an anointing that is coming upon your life to bring remarkable breakthroughs i saw this when i was praying in a vision and that's why i'm just doing this we're going to be very fast because there are still many other things to do I'm going to pray on this and we'll put it in this plate and the ministers will help will just spread it around when they pass it to you just tap your hand and put it on your forehead and begin to blast in tongues when everyone is done then we we'll begin with the ministrations father in the name of Jesus Christ can you open them for this is ordinary oil but by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare that beginning from tonight they carry the anointing of the Spirit many of you as you partake of this fresh fire comes upon your life freshness listen Tonight is a night of encounter with power. Hallelujah. It's a night of encounter with power. Father, I lay my hands upon this. In a name that is above all names. May they become conduits of your power. May they become instruments of power. As this comes upon the heads of many. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that they will bring supernatural breakthroughs, supernatural freshness, supernatural grace. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost lift your voice and begin to pray and say Lord as this oil comes upon me something must break loose in my destiny are you praying as this oil comes upon me something must break loose in my destiny Shabbat 
Are you still praying? Lord, I'm tired of stagnation. I'm tired of hardship. Keep praying. Lord, my heart is open. New dimension. New dimension of fire. New dimension of illumination. New dimension of victory. New dimension of grace. Don't, don't start applying it yet. We're tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than me. There's gotta be more than me. Now listen, please, I want you to know that this is not an ordinary oil. It has the power of God. What you do is just pass it to the first person. You just touch it and then begin to make declarations and prophecies. We'll do that very quickly so that we'll finish up because there's, there are still some other sessions and our time is already gone. Hallelujah. It's got to be more, got to be more. Father, let there be all kinds of miracles and breakthroughs. As your people encounter this oil in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Just tap it, lay it on your head and begin to blast in tongues. Go ahead, everybody. You can put it on your hands if you want to, but go ahead quickly, quickly. Just pass it round, pass it round quickly. Make sure there's enough outside, please. Let everybody get it. Everybody. Go ahead and pray. Make decrees. Make decrees. Believe what you are doing, make decrees. Bible says, Believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Those outside, are they do they have the oil? Please let's save time very quickly outside. Make sure your speaking my life will never be the same. Please rise up everybody. Let's pray for one minute. Ask the Lord to visit you and speak to your situation. Go ahead, please pray. here kneeling with a child hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family that came here a family that came here I think this this has to do with sickness this is a family is it that you brought somebody or I'm seeing sickness and infirmity Please quickly let's save time we have we still have a lot hallelujah 
Stand up, sir. Where is your wife? Because I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft and I'm seeing oppression in your life. I don't know you, I don't know if this is your first time coming here, but the Lord wants to bring a visitation to your life. Please believe me. The Lord wants to bring you a visitation. Memuna. I'm hearing the name Memuna. Memuna. I'm hearing a name. I don't know if that's someone's name or that's someone's name. I'm hearing the name Memuna. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't have to call your case. Believe me. The atmosphere that we're in is enough to bring us that breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hearing that name Memuna. I'm going to pray for you. Is your wife sleeping? Please let her come. I just want to minister to both of you. She can return back to the car. Maimuna. Mommy, where is the woman with a prayer house? That mommy. Please make your way to the front. The Lord is saying I should minister to you fresh grace. Quickly, quickly, please. Where is that person? this young boy what is this that I'm seeing I'm looking at this boy and I'm seeing snakes all over him this is what I'm seeing it came from you to him please collect this child let me minister to this woman please don't bring anybody out until I tell you to bring them out why are they here Memuna is that your name help us with a mic please huh This little girl, how can such a little girl be so oppressed? You're sleeping, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this oppression leave this lady now, mommy. I'm going to pray for you. You are stepping into a new level of the prophetic, your eyes will be opened in a strange way, in a very, very strange way. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing close to you and pouring like oil. This is what I see happening to you. Like oil being poured upon you. And the Lord says, I should tell you, you are stepping into another dimension. A strange dimension of grace. Lord, make this happen by your grace. A strange order and a strange dimension of grace. Madam, where are you from? Madam, where are you from? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing serious oppression. An attack is not just on your baby this thing you are the one who really needs to be free not even the baby you get the point but you have calm down now madam let me talk to you I'm seeing you in the spirit there's no mic okay that's all right I'm looking at this madam in the spirit and I'm seeing you fatter than this I'm seeing what happened. You were sick. Even now. I don't even know that I'll come out. This is what I'm telling you because I'm looking at you in the spirit and the weight I'm seeing is not the same with what I'm seeing right now. That's why I told you it's not the issue of your child. What is happening is simply translating from you to the child. Come, sir. You and your lovely wife. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. Breakthrough. Tremendous breakthrough. Do you believe, madam? you believe that where do you walk are you walking where sterling bank
it won't be too long God is going to take you from that place you know this now you have been preparing towards yes no, not true uh, because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a referee like a you know when it's almost time in a football match this is what I'm seeing your time there is almost up and God is going to lift you I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ and I'm declaring that let this happen in the name of Jesus Christ there is need to pray for your child um, I'm looking at this child and I'm seeing something like symptoms of fever temperature we have to pray for him father in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit everything that is not of God upon this child I take authority over it in Jesus name madam the Lord says I should tell you that he's bringing you into a season of favor please I want you to believe me I don't just talk if God has not told me anything do you believe father bring this family into tremendous realms of favor in the name of Jesus Christ why am I seeing Memuna on your head are you Memuna that's your name come you too you are Memuna I'm seeing a name written on her head and I'm seeing Memuna is that your name or is the name of someone and I will restore the Lord is saying I should tell you he can restore the years that the canker worm has eaten huh? two things number one your relationship with God huh? you can't be one leg in and one leg out you get what I'm saying right leave all those friends and focus use this night let this be a night of determination in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ father let her be free mama let me pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I cause sickness I cause infirmity I'm going to pray for the sick but then I cause sickness from your body in the name of Jesus and every act of witchcraft I take authority over it in Jesus name I lay my hands upon this baby what's the name what's your child's name madam what's your child's name destiny I lay my hands upon destiny and I speak to you be made whole right now from every infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ madam be prayerful yeah? be prayerful there are some things I cannot show here but you see let me speak in parables you cannot come and collect my thing and pretend not to know me are you getting what I'm saying you cannot come and collect my thing in the secret and stand in the secret pretending not to know me it's very important be prayerful and he's either Lord of all he cannot share his glory with any other people you get what I'm saying madam the Lord is going to lift you and take you yes, I want to pray for your children because the devil wants to oppress them this is your child father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray in the name of Jesus Christ spirit let her go now out by the power of the Holy Spirit Madam I pray for you I'm seeing three babies there are some women here I'm seeing a woman particularly who came here specifically for the issue of fruit of the womb please who is that person I'm, no, you are not standing for anybody you came for yourself who is that person let me just minister to the person very quickly please let's save time fruit of the womb because the lord is showing me i just had the cry three babies congratulations madam where is she your name is glorious we lift you up higher There's somebody here. You are here with five broad. Right now as I'm talking. Great wisdom for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ha! Ah, I see the healing angels. Stepping into this place. We we'll begin to minister to the sick proper now. I don't know why God does it. But he's going to do it again in a strange way. The anointing of God is going to come upon a lady. And she's going to shout. That loud shout will usher in the coming of the healing anointing. Please don't ask me why this thing happened. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher. 
If you're sick in your body, please make your way to the front right now. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Everyone begin to pray, Lord, touch me. Please, if you're sick, just, just give them way. We're going to minister to them very quickly. Everyone will be touched. Everyone will be blessed. that's the end of it my dear that devil leaves you forever never to return never to return listen i want you to know that jesus heals here we have a track record by the grace and the mercies of god i'm going to minister to you very quickly so that we can speak specifically please make your way to the front just organize yourself and um, bring the lady. Where's the lady under the anointing? Case here. Yeah, I know. Eh? Look at, let me just calm down. I'm seeing something very funny and interesting here. Watch this. This woman, I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a corpse. I'm seeing somebody they have already buried. You see her? This woman is almost quarter to go. I mean, it's not clear there, but there's almost nothing here. Bones. Watch this. Um, the spirit that wants to kill this woman is in her son this boy standing it's not like it's the boy that wants to kill her so they went to consult with somebody huh? they went to consult with somebody this person is like a herbalist and he told them this is the boy that wants to kill the mother he got it wrong because his understanding is limited it's not like the boy wants to kill her but the spirit at work in him is what is tying her both of them this is the spirit of death she would have died on the 22nd of this month 22nd she would have buried her it would have been over she would have stopped talking from 19th and died on the 22nd God, you are higher than any other. Our God is in He's awesome in power. Come on, sing it like victorious people. Our God. Lift your voice and say, Our God is greater. Hey. Our God is stronger. Father, in the name of Jesus, I set this boy free from witchcraft by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause that spirit that is responsible to make it. Death. Who speaks out now? Mama? Kiberta? Leave her. Yeah, Kiberta. Bata Fadiba. She looks like a full eye woman. She, she understands how sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, perfect her. I curse this spirit. I take her out of these dungeons of death. Right now. belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god all the glory be
The last and greatest session of this meeting is where I begin to prophesy. That's where people receive the biggest breakthroughs and testimonies. We may not be able to minister to everybody one by one, but I want you to know that God is going to bless you. Peter Adola is going to come up and for the next 10 minutes or so, he's going to lead us through a dimension of worship and praise unto God. And the moment that happens, I will come back and we'll take up the last session with prophecy and then we'll take a few announcements. We're done. Everybody give Jesus praise as we celebrate him. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name. Worship you, Jesus. We celebrate you, Jesus. Which one? Which are the pianos? This one. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, 
you are the most We love you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you are the most. Father, we reverence you. You are the most high God. Father, we worship you. Father, we love you, Jesus. Here to let you know. We open up our hearts. 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 Come fill us, Jesus, with the water of life. We open up our hearts to you, Jesus. We worship you. Father, pour out your spirit on every flesh, oh God. We worship you. We pour our love on you. We pour our love on you. Till every flesh is crucified in We worship you. Oh, oh, oh. Father, we worship you. You are the most high God. Say, Father, we worship you. Say. You are the most high God. Father, we worship you. You are the most high. You are the most high God. We worship. Father, we worship you. We worship. You are the most high God. We worship. Say we worship. You are the most high God. We worship. Lifted up, we worship. With our hands lifted up, we worship. When we lift up our hands, it's to you, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. With our hands lifted up, we worship you, Jesus. We worship. Yes, we worship Jesus, the King of Glory. The Lamb of God who was slain before the foundations of the earth. We worship you, Jesus. Yeah. Desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. Say I'm lost without you. Say it. I am lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. There's no me without you. There's no me without you. Say it. No me without you. There's no life without you. There's no life without you. Oh. Lord, I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. I need a turn. I'm desperate for. Oh. I'm desperate for you. Desperate for you, Jesus. I can breathe without you. I'm lost without you, Shane. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you, Shane. I'm lost without you. 
Church say I'm lost without you now say I'm lost without you I'm lost without you I'm lost without you Let the rain of the presence fall Say I'm lost without you Cover us with your grace Jesus <laughs> Say I'm lost without you Let the rain your presence, oh God. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. We give you all the glory and the honor and adoration to your holy name. Yes, I'm lost without your name. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Break every chain, say Break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. Woo. Say, break every chain. 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 Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Come on, say, break every chain, break every chain, every chain, every chain. I see the chains are broken now. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. Say it. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every. Say break every chain. Say. Oh ho ho ho. Break every chain.
sé oh, 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 oh.
your mouth and just begin to bless the name of your Father. seated here watching are the ones who will be doing this yeah and then you will tell them that this is how you were trained and you will tell them you were trained well the flesh can be tamed you can tame the flesh to a point that the spirit of God this is this is not it's not about the issue of struggling just living there it's okay hallelujah Praise the Lord. We have a few minutes and then we're done. I salute everyone. We'll have the last prayer session and then I'll just prophesy and speak over our lives. So can we all rise inside and outside? I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne I will worship him and give a praise to him alone he who was and lives and is to come I will sing before his throne You're holy, holy, yes, you are holy, holy, hallelujah, mighty one, Psalm 66 verse 3, please, our last prayer session, we're going to be praying, and we are going to be making decrees and commanding our lives and destinies. He told Job, has thou commanded thy money? Or are you just allowing it to happen? Believers have authority, but we must put the authority to use. And then we compel these powers to submit. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. He says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. I want you to believe in the prayer session we're about to have right now. Very brief, but very impactful. And I want you to pray and pray like your heart depends on it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, when Moses began to advocate the release of the nation of Israel, God's covenant people, into their promised land. When the pressure got so much, Pharaoh negotiated. He said, alright, let we have a deal. The men can go, leave the women and the children. Leave the factors that represent the continuity of that race. The women and the children. Let the men go. Because he knew they would perish. And Moses said, no way. We are going with our wives, our children, our cattle, and everything. So we are going to pray. The Bible says, Now Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And it says God had blessed him in all things. Not some things. All things. It's, it's possible for you to experience breakthrough and advancement in one area of your life. But then you are tied in another area. Second Kings chapter 5 tells us about a man who was the captain of the Syrian army. The Bible says he was a great man. He did exploits, fought valiantly, but he was leprous. So we want to address those buts, those situations in our lives. Yes, you have done well, you are anointed. Yes, this and that, but there are certain areas. It must be total victory. Rise up on your feet. 
I want you to shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, Koinonia. Say in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I come against every power. That attempts to fight my destiny. In the name of Jesus. I declare release. Of every other area of my life. That is under attack. And I declare. This morning. That it is my time for breakthrough. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice. Come on. Pray, pray, pray. People of God. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Mention the areas in your life that are pending. That need the breakthrough hand of God. Mention those areas specifically. Please lift your voice and pray. Take this session seriously. We are almost done. Rapakato proso so predegere bela de bosh. Embratakata balata poko soto pregate. Are you praying? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray for every area of your life that is yet to experience breakthrough. Decree and declare that after this vigil, you will begin to experience breakthrough in that area by the power of the Holy Spirit. We ward off the powers of hell standing against our lives and destinies. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While still praying, when Moses finally convinced Pharaoh to release them, watch this. As they released them, while they were going, the Bible says they met a Red Sea. So they had left Egypt, but there was a Red Sea in front of them. Are we together now? And the Egyptians were back to capture them. And they began to cry. And in Exodus chapter 14, Moses said, stand still. Stand still. He says, the Egyptians you see today, oh, you may have seen them for 430 years, but today, the Egyptians you see today, he says that you would not see them. And then he said, Moses, verse 15 now, Moses was crying before God. And he said, why will you cry? Tell the people to move forward. Make advancement. Listen, this prayer we are going to pray is important. Because many of us, this prayer will supply courage. Hear me? It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward in business. It's time to move forward in your career. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray and say, Lord, everything keeping me down. Maybe it's the failure of the past. Maybe it's the lies of Satan. He has lied to you. Maybe you are fallen again. You entered a relationship. It did not work. You have refused to enter another one to get married. You did business and it did not work. And the devil is stopping you from moving forward. You, you tried to give birth and you had a miscarriage. But right now, he said, tell the people to move forward. The signs do not go before you. They follow you. When you take the step of faith, God is ministering to someone. It's time to get back. The anointing is still there. Where you fell is where you will rise and excel. The anointing is still there. Lift your voice and prophesy. I'm moving forward. Go ahead and pray. Pray. In my ministry, I'm moving forward. I refuse to allow challenges and limitations stop me. Inside and outside, I'm moving forward in every area of my life. You wanted to start a building project. A challenge came and you have refused to move forward. You tried to get admission. You tried once, twice. It didn't work. Listen. It says, tell the people to move forward. Koinonia, I announce to you an anointing by an encounter with power is upon your life to begin to move forward. Now prophesy. Lord, I'm moving forward. 
I break those barriers. I refuse to see challenges. That project is doable. The project is doable. The marriage is doable. Come on, pray now. The ministry can rise. It's achievable. It's achievable. It's achievable. I may have been thrown down once, but it is achievable. There is still an anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My Bible says, there is hope for a tree. Even though it be cut down. Samson was a mighty man of power. But for some reason, he was anointed to be the judge over Israel. And for some reasons, he fell into the trap of a woman called Delilah. And that trap costed him his eyes. They plucked out his eyes and they shaved him. You would have thought that would be the end of Samson. Once a giant, the one who threatened the Philistines, the one who tore a lion and brought honey out of it, the one who removed a city gate, God is ministering to some people here. You have tasted power and honor, but something happened somewhere and brought you down. But tonight God is speaking to you that there is hope for a tree. You can rise again. When they took Samson and they took him to the temple and they were mocking him before our God, he prayed a prayer. He prayed a prayer of restoration that Lord, this one last time, let this anointing come upon me. And the Bible says he pushed. He killed more people in his death than he did in his lifetime. Can I tell you something? You should know the difference between failure as an event and failure as a person. We live in a generation where every time you fail, there are so many people coming to prove to you, justifying their prophecies. Are you getting me now? You start a business or a company, it fails and everybody tells you, you see, you start a ministry genuinely called by God no growth there is failure and people tell you stop wasting your time a gentleman gets up and says I'm going to get married and no finances no resources no job and everybody tells him you'll be a failure or maybe a student you went to the board and you saw that you're on probation let me announce to you tonight that it is never over until you choose to give up. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I won't give up. No, I won't give up. I'll keep pressing on till my answer comes. I won't give up. Lord, I won't give up. I'll keep holding on my change comes I will never forget our first crusade our first crusade in Joss you would have rated it maybe a failed crusade because they were not people they were not much we saw miracles we saw mighty things but the people were few we were stranded listen a crusade would happen the crusade was to start by 5.30 as, as at 3 o'clock the car was still spoiled. We're still on our way going. I'll never forget. The driver tried and tried and tried. We didn't even have enough money. We just had enough money to take us there. How we were going to survive. Are you getting what I'm saying? Listen. When you see a successful man, don't just celebrate the stories. Ask the person for the pains and the scars successful people are those who have forced any closed door to open they are not those who do not have challenges are you getting the point now i will never forget that crusade was powerful immediately after the crusade the sound guys were standing One hundred and fifty thousand were to pay them it looks like child's play now but then it meant a lot because even if everybody in the ministry then came together would not be able to solve it 
but we knew that God sent us. I knew what God had told me. A great crusade. The first crusade we did not even have, we could not rent video cameras. I'll never forget the humiliation that I went through from the sound people. It was, it was such a bitter humiliation. Those people frustrated my life literally because I could not afford it. I'll never forget one doctor in chemistry department on hearing on this situation she took 5,000 and sold it as a seed. It was a disaster. I would have easily given up and said that's it. Lord, no ministry again. Imagine the millions of lives within this country and around the world who have been blessed by this ministry. If I had given up at that point, God is speaking to someone. Peter tried to catch fish all night. Nothing happened. He would have packed up. Successful people are those who are audacious. Don't mind the mediocres around your journey to success. They will always wait there to make you feel like you're a failure. They will always make to claim their prophecy is self-fulfilling. When you succeed, I guarantee you, every one of them will change their reports about you. Nobody has time to celebrate you on your way to success. But when you arrive, the worst that can happen is that you can be criticized. But no man can deny that this is the finger of God. I remember Dr. Paul and Enche, 99, right? When they went to Abuja, him, his wife, and two pastors were staying in one small room. Not by will. That was all they could afford. You would have called them failures. Do you know what it means for a man married with his wife and you cannot afford a house? You carry your wife and two pastors you are staying in the same room. But that's what it's been called today. Listen. I want you to know right now we are going to pray. You are going to challenge your fears and challenge your limitations. Those voices that have spoken to you and made you feel that you cannot become anything. They may be the voices of good people. They may be the voices of sincere people. But I come to prove them wrong. Lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. Everyone shout it in the name of Jesus. I'm determined to succeed by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. My failures of yesterday will not stop me from achieving the breakthroughs of tomorrow. I receive courage and fresh grace to face this mountain and to surmount it. Lift your voice and pray. Grace, oh God. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. No weeping and just for a night. Joy comes with the morning. No weeping and just for a night. The Lord is speaking to you. Joy comes with the morning. You didn't get the admission. But it does not mean it cannot be gotten. The marriage didn't work out. The travel abroad did not work out. It does not mean you cannot travel. The business did not work out. It does not mean you are a failure. You may not have money now. You may not have connection now. Nobody may recognize your anointing. But keep pressing. Keep pressing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was he praying? You are going to pray and cry for supernatural persistence and endurance. Listen, let me tell you. You can ask every one of the ministers here, Barak who ministered, and Peter Adole, Manasseh, Pastor Alpha, ask all of them. They will tell you stories and episodes of endurance. Listen, there was a time in my life I was tightening and I was giving, nothing was happening. Are you getting what I'm saying? Any man that just tells you it just happened like that lied to you. I'm telling you. There are seasons in your life where it looks like your heavens are closed although they are not closed. Are you getting what I'm saying? Nothing like a result is happening. You are planting bearing precious seeds. But nothing is happening. 
As a man of God, you know the anointing upon your life. While you are laboring in the spirit, nobody is recognizing your grace to invest in it. You can be a great worshiper and for many years, you may be moving around crying for just one open door but the doors may not open. Listen to me. You can be a lady, pretty and virtuous. You've done everything you need to do in your strength. Sincerely speaking, you've done everything you know a woman should do to be prepared for marriage. Before God and men, everyone knows truly you are prepared for marriage. All the demons to be casted have been casted out. But no man is coming. And vice versa for a man. You may graduate with a great degree. You have served, you've even complimented on your degrees. Submitted CVs. Let me tell you something. In every man's life, there are seasons of persistence and endurance. I want you to know this. Don't let any man fool you. God is a God of speed, not rush. God does not rush. He brings speed, not rush. There are seasons where you are proven. The Bible says John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance. There is something called a man's season of appearance. You can manifest before your season of appearance and keep struggling trying to find relevance. Years ago, he may remember, we went for a meeting in, in Kaduna, a very powerful meeting. And when we went there, there was a man of God who was supposedly a bishop. There was nothing bishop about him. When you launch yourself without your season of appearance, the man was there and after the meeting, I, I could not even figure one person who came to say, Kai, man of God, you bless me. The bishop was there moving around, no friend, no car, no nothing. We went to the restaurant. He just sat down somewhere and was just taking his power horse. Nobody was even encouraging him. And I said in my mind, Lord, if this is how it means to be a bishop, I don't want. This honor, when God blesses you, he brings honor with it. When you launch yourself, you will keep floating, looking for relevance. I'm speaking to many of us here. We are at the verge of breakthroughs. Keep holding on. There are times you don't need to do anything new. You just need to keep doing what you are doing. Because what you are doing is not wrong. If a baby, we have a few babies around here. If a baby suddenly decides to take one drum of breast milk, that baby will not suddenly get up and become an adult because he took breast milk. If an old man starves himself to die, he will not suddenly become young because there was no food. Are you getting what I'm saying? And Jesus grew. He didn't become. He didn't jump. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. Life is in dimensions. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And there are times in your life you will need to wait. Listen, you may be a man of God, anointed. It is true that God has spoken to you about ministry. But for now, all you will be doing is cleaning tables. Be faithful. You must receive grace for endurance. Because let me tell you, hope defers makes the heart weary. The heart of man is, is, is very fragile. The moment you wait after a season of practicing kingdom principles and you don't see results, naturally speaking, naturally speaking, fatigue will come in. You're going to lift your voice. Are you still tired? We're rounding up. This is a very important prayer point. Lift your voice and say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I receive grace for endurance. I receive grace for persistence. I receive grace for resilience. I will wait. I will be patient until my season of appearance. Lift your voice and pray. Patience, oh God. If you turn aside in the day of battle, it says your strength is small. Lift your voice and pray.
Persistence, persistence, endurance in prayer, endurance in obedience. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. The Bible tells us that a virgin called Mary was just minding her business one day. Suddenly an angel appears to her. Listen. Appears to her with a prophetic message. Thou art highly favored. Blessed are you among women. And she wondered what salutation this was. And the angel began to tell her that she was going to carry a baby. And she said, how shall these things be? I know not a man. Just like God is telling you. The same you who is standing. One day you will own your television station. And the world will be watching you. And you look around and say, how shall these things be? And he said, the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Watch this. The moment God told Mary because her life at that time was an unusual life and then the angel recommended her to Elizabeth somebody who was carrying the same mystery and the same vision you will never make it in life if you are the only one who looks like you there must be people around your life that can identify no matter how mystical the instructions are there must be somebody around your life that can say, although this looks strange, I see that the hand of God is upon it. Loneliness in destiny has killed many people. They are carrying visions. They, they have no other shoulder to lean on. And Mary went to Elizabeth. Every other woman would have said, you are very stupid. Tell us the rabbi you slept with that you are lying that a spirit got you pregnant. But she went to a woman who had been barren for a long time. So, she's in a position that can identify with these kinds of supernatural things watch this and the bible says as soon as elizabeth mary and elizabeth saw the babies the destinies in their wombs leapt you need people around your life that can look at you and say that 300 million naira project is doable how much do you have 10 naira say yes I was once like that you need people in your life that can be crazy enough and you say sir i'm trusting god for a house or a car by the end of the year how much do you have two thousand he said you are even better than me when i was about to buy the car i had 500 naira suddenly you know you are not alone there is nothing as encouraging as finding a madman like you somebody who can agree with you and say it is doable it's a dangerous thing for a man of God dangerous thing for a businessman dangerous thing for a destiny shaker to be around people who do not have any experience that can engineer faith in you are you getting what I'm saying that you come and say my sister I want to share with you something don't be afraid though. say what is it say do you know i don't have a womb and the lady will not say ah what is all that say abba your case is a simple case there was a woman like that it's not just that she didn't have a womb in fact her own was a, a bad case but she had twins you see that that's elizabeth you need to call for elizabeth to your life because many of us are about giving up on visions that are of god but there are no motivators there are no people to tell you it is doable who said you can't start a bank? Everybody say bank. What nonsense are you talking about? Somebody tells you you can do it. You can do it. You can start the bank. You pray them into your life. Are you getting me? There are ladies right now. This is August. But you heard from God genuinely. And you are trusting God to be settled by December. You, if you meet a wrong person. The person will look at you and say I have what nonsense how many months will it take for traditional marriage how many months will it take to raise offering uh, sorry to raise 
the, the uh, raise the money for the marriage how long will it take do you know how much wedding gown is do you know how much it means to rent a house do you have 1.5 million all those devilish things you need to throw those people away and meet somebody who tells you i i met my guy in october we married by december 15th it is possible lift your voice and say in the name of jesus i call forth to my life the elizabeths of my destiny say after me in the name of jesus i call into my life my destiny motivators may they come to encourage me in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray we call for the elizabeths we call for the elizabeths we call for the elizabeths men and women of similar vision men and women of similar passion men and women of similar vision men and women of similar passion hallelujah lift your hands everybody as I prophesy to us please I want you to receive it receive it with all your heart and receive it with a loud shout of amen the Lord gave me a revelation on the creative power of prophecy and we've had all kinds of humbling testimonies he said son of man can these bones live and he said only down the west then he said prophesy speak to these bones speak to these situations as far as I am concerned there is nothing called impossible not when God steps in it is impossible when there are men but not when God steps in I pray for you right now in the name that is above all names that every door that before now has been closed over your life and your destiny by the anointing of the Holy Spirit return to find that door open now I prophesy it upon you return to find that door open in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life where your strength is limited you have done everything you know to do I'm declaring upon you right now let a fresh anointing take you through the remaining part of the journey in the name of Jesus Christ where your human strength has stopped may an anointing come and pick you up in the name of Jesus Christ when Jesus was about to start his ministry a voice spoke no matter how anointed you are it will take somebody to announce you please listen I show you a mystery no matter how anointed you are a midwife although she's a midwife she won't deliver a baby by herself when it is time for her to deliver she will need other midwives no man can bless himself no man can endorse himself are you hearing what i'm saying a voice had to be spoke out had to speak from heaven and say this is my beloved son and he commanded the world to hear him lift your hands let me speak over your destiny your destiny remains grounded until a voice can speak in the realm of the spirit a simple prophetic word but it's a profound law i'm praying for you right now by the anointing of the holy spirit everything that has covered your glory everything that has covered your your gift and your potential from being seen desired and celebrated i speak right now is your time for celebration i speak right now is your time for celebration I speak it to you right now it's your time for recognition it's time for your gift to be noted it's time for men to pay attention to what you carry in the name of Jesus Christ and I call for the helpers of destiny the wine pressers the bakers those who will speak to the king on your behalf I call them into your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ I declare upon you that all the years that the canker worm has eaten 
all the years the palma worm has eaten what you think is foregone what you think is a waste i'm prophesying to you right now may there be double restoration may there be double restoration double restoration i pray for every family represented here in the name that is above all names not only will you receive visitation i release visitation to families 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 in the name of jesus let there be visitations may the lord wipe the tears of families in the name of jesus christ every project you want to embark on these hands that are lifted i put an anointing upon it and i force it to prosper in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ everything your hand embarks upon in the name that is above all names may you prosper in it in the name of jesus christ i speak over your finances listen when you are not empowered financially you will be limited in many ways there's no long story about it hallelujah cry yet say in zechariah 117a thus said the lord my city's true prosperity shall be spread abroad and i will yet comfort zion it takes finances to fund your assignment it takes finances for you to move forward lift your hands i pray for you in the name of jesus every power limiting your finances every power limiting you from obeying the principles that bring increase i set you free from it right now in the name of jesus christ every spirit of greed that keeps you in poverty and penury i set you free from it right now in the name of jesus i'm prophesying upon your life by the mystery of divine supply in the name of jesus may god send into your life people opportunities and resources in the name of jesus christ i believe the report of the lord i believe the report of you. see listen you don't see with your eyes you see through your eyes there is a spiritual agency for sight you only see through these physical eyes it's not what you see with they are just the physical components that enable your true spiritual eye to see and paul prayed that that eyes be flooded with light praise the lord so we need alignment that's why you can pray for people pray for them lay hands on them do whatever you want to do did you know that sometimes you finish praying and then the people walk right back because their mindset betrays what god wants to do in their lives that's what happened to the nation of israel right everything you have told moses we will do oh, after two weeks they say kai a, a delegation comes and they say moses we, we need an explanation go and bring Baal. make something for us that we can see this mysterious god who comes with smoke we don't know this one please make something we know they limited god in the wilderness a man's mindset can limit god as mighty as he is i refuse to limit you i refuse number three the word of god an encounter with the word of god shows you your part of the deal it shows you the part you have to play to commit god to a performance never forget this there is a part that you have to play brothers and sisters every promise in scripture requires a partnership on your own part deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 it says if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command thee this day right and then it talks about um, you being exalted above all the nations and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if there is a condition isaiah 1 19 if ye be willing and obedient you will eat the good of your, the land not if ye be hungry and desperate if ye be what willing 
there is a condition there is a condition there are always conditions so an encounter with the word reveals to me my part of God's prosperity package Lord you want to bless me what is my role right I want to step into levels of the anointing the word of God shows me is see reading the word is like walking in your promised land it says walk left and right see everything as far as your eyes have seen so you read studying the word of God is like touring your promised land and you come back and say Lord as I read I found this and that and God says all right here's the condition everything is yours for a taking you can enter a restaurant immediately you enter the restaurant you see a lap of an ugly chicken and you start smiling but you came there with 100 naira there is a condition you want to be a possessor you want to make that thing become a present reality there is a price tag nobody stops you there's no policeman to stop you but you can watch it like a museum and salivate and watch right and nothing happens you may be 30 years but a little baby will come with his father and he say mommy i like this and whatever he likes keep giving it to him the container did not refuse to open your part i know you are laughing because i spoke about food but get the revelation because the issue in your life is more than food praise god oh god change my story god says come let me show you your part of the deal he said, God, I don't want you. Are, you have died for me. Mm -mm. Listen, listen, listen. Making the word of God work in your life, making that which he has done to work in your life will require a participation on your own part. Please understand this. Praise the Lord. Are we following? So these three things. Tonight, as you are seated here, there are some of us, the reason why certain levels of breakthrough have not come into our lives is because we have not been able to support our claims in prayer with a basis you have you have always every power challenging me you better leave because of what why should they leave do you know what brought them in the first place they were there before you were born so i came to koinonia every demon i'm tired of you <laughs> that's not what drives them you, you don't they don't go because you are tired 38 years that man was lying down at a pool that wicked spirit did not say kai 37 38 oh yeah let me allow you you have tried you would have remained there forever in five minutes five minutes meaning time does not change anything light is what changes things it will change tomorrow you are wasting your time arise and shine not because you are tired of sitting isaiah 64 thy light is come hmm. are you getting blessed so there are some of us here what you need is to understand a revelation of what jesus christ has done you think the reason why you may get everything is because you are bold or because you are prayed it's not that there is a revelation the blood of jesus for years i had rain had bonke talk about the blood of jesus so much he, he equated blood and fire and i didn't i couldn't quite get it until i found out that blood was a key in the spirit that's why every religion has blood as part of their component this is the one factor that every religion agrees upon blood hallelujah and there are some of us here the problem is our mindset god wants to bless us he wants to lift us but there is a mindset oh i'm a lady oh i'm coming from so so and so i cannot even speak english oh this and that and that and that i've not even gotten admission or oh me i just want a little this or i made that and that huh or oh, god i want you to bless me but it must happen through nmpc if you are lord it must happen through nmpc they limited god you're asking god for a cup and he wants to give you an ocean hallelujah that's the problem with the body of christ our faith is what i call auxiliary faith faith that is standing on something tied to the neck of your uncle so every time you say lord bless me what you mean is press that uncle's neck until he responds to me your faith is not really standing upon the word of god 
your faith every time you say lord i i i, I know you are changing my story what you are simply saying oh lord i know my uncle will not sleep until my no 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 why don't you give him the option to bring the strategy and you say lord i don't care how it will be done i may not see wind i may not see rain but one thing i know because let me tell you your strategy is most of the time carnal but his strategy becomes spiritual when he gives you a strategy it may look foolish but that's the way he has chosen it right go around jericho that's the strategy oh i'm already ahead of myself the second way to receive a miracle or the second platform now first is an encounter with the word of god second is the ministry of prayer the ministry of prayer is part of the equation to receiving a miracle there must be the ministry of prayer it does two things number one prayer challenges the forces of darkness fighting against the manifestation of the promise in your life Ephesians 6 verse 12 the Bible clearly tells us that we are not alone in this world we have strangers who are trying to escort us every day every time wicked spirits stratified in different cadres right so you are always not alone the devil attempts to seek entrance into different dimensions of your life and given the opportunity he will wreck your life the goal to mock the testimony of god in your life praise the lord so there are giants on every mountain please don't let anybody fool you there are giants on every mountain if you get into a mountain and the door is already open somebody already killed the giant but there were giants there for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers rulers of darkness spiritual wickedness in heavenly places the stratification of the demonic kingdom so between you and your breakthrough there are giants it takes the ministry of prayer hallelujah when you pray you authorize heaven to look into your situation because god is not committed to step into your situation without your asking him to genesis 1 26 from the day he said let them have dominion but god is supposed to know now doesn't he love me well it will not change the bones kept staring at ezekiel until something happened praise the lord you come for miracle service and you find out that as the word is coming like this there are still people seated oppressed of demons right some of these demons are hearing what i'm saying now they are just shaking but they are not going yet let's see if we we'll go must we really go yes by the time we begin to pray we activate the energy the force right it's a force of compliance it brings everything to the obedience of christ so that's why you need to pray you pray to command the forces of darkness that are stopping your access to bow number two this is an even greater reason why we pray prayer reveals the exact and the unique strategy to bring the promise to manifestation please never forget this when you pray in the place of prayer god reveals to you his unique strategy for you so you have walked through scripture and you have seen that god has told you that you are to walk in breakthrough but now the bible may not give you the nitty gritty of what to do in your unique situation prayer when you begin to pray the spirit of god begins to search the mind of god concerning your situation and the bible says how that he searches all things and he prays according to the will of god so you begin to pray and then the lord tells you okay now this is the strategy you are going to meet benga benga will introduce you to femi and femi will introduce you to prof that's how the miracle will come it is a strategy for only you somebody will do it and fail are you seeing why prayer is powerful this is this is am i blessing you in my opinion i think this is already a miracle for somebody i'm showing you the loopholes some of us have seen the promise you have agreed with god but the problem is the strategy in ancient times kings won war not on the strength of their army but the dexterity of their strategy 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 so joshua stood still 
and God began to give him the strategy. He said, Joshua, this is how we we'll throw this wall down. Walk around seven times. Did you ever see that repeated in the Bible? Because it was a strategy. Right? He told Gideon, take the people by the riverside and let them take water. Study the way they take water. You will use it as a separation. Strategy. Somebody has come tonight to receive strategy. Lord, how do I complete this house? You calculated your salary based on your salary to take 10 years. And God says, I can show you a strategy. The Bible says, then was the secret revealed unto Daniel. A wicked king slept in the night, dreamt and forgot it and was going to punish people for his forgetfulness. Right? And a man called Daniel. One of the greatest prayers that have been praying in this season is Lord's strategy. It is all about strategy. I'm telling you. God will show you something that does not make sense. But it's his strategy for you. Everyone will do it and fail. But it's what you will do. And you will walk on. Hallelujah. So you look at that business and you are praying. And God will say, uh -uh, my strategy for you is take that business out of where you are. Take it to another place. Isaac already knew he had the blessing upon him. But he needed a strategy right that's why every time kings would fight they would go and inquire what is the strategy for this war they will not use yesterday's strategy for today's war they will fail woefully and so they'll go should i pursue and the lord will say this is how it will happen like in the days of jehoshaphat put worshipers in front other times he said walk around seven times other times he said just be still get a stone and sit down and watch what i will do strategy question the strategy you are using for your life now, who gave you? I saw another man do it, you see. He just went and started selling tomato. You see, it, it, God said he will bless you. But what drove you into it? I, I, a man must work. Don't stop those kind of demonic thinking. There must be a strategy. Oh Lord, change my story. I think I'll start selling shoes. Just like that just like that the bible says as they began to pray the holy ghost said separate me paul and barnabas if they were to choose they would have carried somebody else right now when we begin to pray i am convinced that god will begin to reveal strategies for people hmm. strategies on how to make the rain work some of you listen students there are students here that all you need is one strategy there is a course everybody has told you this course and you are face to face with that Goliath you've been running away but right you are there now you need a strategy hallelujah there are some of you maybe your project a supervisor may be difficult and God can give you a strategy the strategy may not necessarily be a direct revelation from the spirit it can be light a one scripture imprints in your spirit as you are praying oh God what do I do about this my supervisor suddenly a scripture comes the gift of a man makes a room you quickly go and package wine not to bribe the man you are responding to a strategy ordinarily he would have thrown you out with your wine but because you are doing it as a strategy you will laugh and say why did you have to do that what is even your name you have been disturbing me it's a strategy hmm. Lord, give me strategy. you will see men do foolish things that don't make sense that's what god told us when when we wanted to start giving access to our messages i went to the lord and the lord told me he said make sure you do not sell any message keep the videos give out the mp3s that's the strategy right you may do it for your ministry and you will lose a lot of money the blessing god has tied for your ministry you would but but it is a strategy it's a strategy when i said lord what is the key to the publicity and the increase and the expansion of this ministry in terms of membership god gave me a strategy it's not a secret mark one two three you may apply it and it may not work for you but that's what the lord gave and this is the mystery behind what you see i like you as you are seated before we stand up to pray in one minute speak to the lord what is the strategy lord my family has been struggling over this issue for years they want to build there is no money what is the strategy please take what i'm saying seriously one strategy 
can change your situation. Not just a strategy you read from a book. One strategy. There is an easier way of doing it. That you have not seen it does not mean it's not there. Why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal. In 24 hours, by the strategy of the Spirit, He gave victory. Please pray. God has shown you your destiny helper, but He's not paying attention to you. One strategy will answer the question. Pray. God has shown you the business He wants you to do. But as it is, you try and try. You need strategy. It's not like you didn't hear God. The ministry of prayer you have been reading and reading you did well in 100 level 200 level by 300 level you started moving back because you need to change strategy you need to go to his majesty to show you strategy 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 please pray for your ministry sister you don't need all the money you think you need what you need is a strategy from the spirit believe me you have tried every idea you know you have tried everything they have told you why don't you cry before god come on now pray koinonia reveal unto me the strategy my family is suffering there is witchcraft in my family they have vowed but my father will not listen what is the strategy for the deliverance of my family everybody in my family is an unbeliever but i've seen in visions and dreams that they will all be saved between the promise and the manifestation what is the strategy Lord, I've applied for job everywhere. Civil defense, immigration, everywhere. What is the strategy? Hallelujah. Strategy. The last thing I'll talk about when we stand up, we're going to do a quick walk. Very, very quick walk. The last step towards the manifestation of a miracle is that you must take action. Take action. I want everybody to listen to me carefully because God is about to speak to us in a very definite way now. I hope you have been blessed so far. Take action. There are two enemies of action that are found from scripture. Number one, fear. Fear. Everybody say fear. Fear is a dangerous and wicked spirit there are multi-millionaires sitting listening to me now but fear has stopped them from taking action there are many families you would have finished building your house since not just a bungalow that will kill you there are people seated here if you took the step god told you last year you would have been feeding your family this year fear tonight i'm showing you all the things that there is work to do tonight are you getting my point everybody shout i reject fear, I reject fear. oh fear does not respect age children fear adults fear great men fear macho men fear intelligent people fear right now africa is afraid nigeria is afraid many people are afraid the dollar is crashing everybody is afraid you don't know what to do right there's fear everywhere when the devil when god tells you get up and build the house this year that house must be built and all you have is hundred thousand and you calculate and you find out that the building will cost seven million and your life is a god don't disgrace me let the people in the village not say i'm stupid take action listen the bible says this sign shall follow not go before you will never see the hand of god till you stand up and move this is somebody's this is a word from god to someone you have refused to move fear 
you wrote jam nine times you didn't get it god is saying this time you will get it say i'm not ready i better go to the restaurant and eat food with that money see that fear are we getting blessed let's look at two scriptures second timothy one verse seven take it high please second timothy one verse seven please help us media let's really hurry up we have to hurry up because we have some prayer to do are you seeing the things that are limiting us truly i am determined this year to see that every one of us has a testimony if nothing changes in your life this year then it's your fault but as far as the principles that will guarantee for you to experience the rain by the grace of god i will do my best for god had not given us the spirit of fear put your name there just that first clause one to read One more time. Praise the Lord. There are many of our loved ones. 45 years. Brother, are you ready to get out of your father's house? I preached a message in 2008. It was a classic. Come out of your father's house. Thought provoking message to challenge people to leave their comfort zone. There are some of us, 30, 35, 40. We are still a big liability to our parents at home. Or God come out and say, what I have now is 20,000. Come out. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have sown seeds, you are giving. Look, let me tell you, if I am a father, my, when my child gets to a certain age, one day, he will just come and say, young man, in the name of Jesus, I release the blessing upon you. Go out. Out. That's it. I'm, I'm very serious. See, you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone this year it's not just to say it's the year of the rain stand up and take action are you hearing what i'm saying change change what you have been doing kill fear take action and die doing it queen esther god took her to the palace god removed vashti and brought her for the salvation of israel but when mordecai spoke to her her man is plotting against these people you better go and meet the king she said ah please oh me too is 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 bring they brought me here please i'm not ready to face any embarrassment and mordecai said sit down there in fear paraphrasing sit down there when they finish with us the jews they will now say all of you in this palace bring your bio data and they will find out you are a jew too and they will kill you and she said if i perish i perish this is the year some of us are going to say if i i'm writing that jam again is god speaking to somebody i'm writing that jam again this is the year but i tried the business i failed you will do it again this year master we have cast he said we have cast the net of how do you put it now right we have toiled all night he said nevertheless I was going to get married. The person even did introduction. Later he called and he said he's not doing it again. And now one godly brother is saying, I'm serious. He said, you look like that guy. Stand up and take action. Otherwise you sit down and not get married all your life. In the name of Jesus, you will take action this year. Praise the Lord. There are some of us, God is speaking. Fear. Fear. Do you know fear puts people in bondage? more people die there are many sicknesses today that are as a result of fear and worry is that true what you are afraid of has not happened but you are you are almost dying from today now people have started running out of zaria for instance you can go if you want to go what are <laughs> of course i'm not teaching you to be careless and just roam around but, but oh, come on now people fear everything you are sleeping in the night you just light maybe it's the cloth you hung that just tilted in a way say I, I don't like the way this cloth why is it tilting and coming back who is there <laughs> fear fear has made people to say yes when they would have said no and they committed themselves into things you have no business committing yourself fear one of my friends father listen true story one of my friend's father, they would have been the earliest people to start pure water business in Nigeria. When God gave him that idea, it was in a full gospel businessman's fellowship. 
right the idea came and he laughed Thai water Haba. who will pay for water are we idiots there is stream there is sun there's light there's stove to warm water and he refused to take action and certain people took action do you think those who took the action are, are crying now this year you must take a handkerchief as you are crying the movie are you getting my point you must challenge that devil you have not broken through certain barriers nobody has ever crossed to the university in your family now you finish secondary school for instance and you're about to take that step and, and everybody said just you have tried you got diploma in, in in software application are you not okay you are ahead yet every time you sleep you see a phd and the devil is telling you cannot move tonight we have come to call that devil a liar in the name of jesus christ say i will take action say i will take action that's right the second thing that stops action is laziness everybody say laziness my goodness our time is gone laziness very important proverbs chapter 10 verse 4 please proverbs 10 verse 4 and then later on we'll look at proverbs 22 verse 13 media please don't forget proverbs 10 verse 4 there are some of us the demon that needs to fly out of our life today not jump out fly out and never return is that spirit of laziness that inertia to move forward some of us sheer laziness the bible says he become a poor that dealeth with what you never stay around me and you become lazy i have zero tolerance for lazy people a young man of 30 years by 11 30 12 he's still snoring on the bed you will beg for bread for sure there is no amount of fasting that will change that if you don't change it there are many lazy people we like a wolf free things look let me tell you there is a place for diligence if you must see the rain fall upon you this year are we getting blessed he become a poor that deals with a slack hand but the hand of the diligent does what there are some of you you are experts at begging day and night you beg everybody right please bros i beg you get 5k help me next time sister sorry i'm just knowing you don't be embarrassed i need 2k you you degrade yourself because of this devilish attitude of laziness there are grasses in people's houses to go and weed there are things to do but you get up and believe you're a big boy big boy with nothing in your pocket you calm down don't try to look successful pay the price and be successful hallelujah are you getting blessed you must reject laziness there are some students you see how some students live you think you think that they are professors right 10 or 11 exams is in one week and you see the person just strolling with his boxers go and fetch a, 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 a bucket of water lazily he cannot even wait at the tap you turn somebody else's water drag himself to the bathroom come out 30 minutes later huh dirty boxers dirty singlets you can't wash it laziness all around you can't get up and sweep your room and some of our sisters are like that who do you want to marry tall dark and handsome he must be a millionaire you think god doesn't have sense he said do not be deceived god cannot be mocked whatsoever a man sows there are many people see look let me tell you sometimes you may see me you see some of the things we are doing and you just don't be deceived by this this ever water if you want it come and carry it there is it there is more than this are you getting my point first thing tomorrow morning we are leaving for katsina it takes work it's not just anointing it takes diligence please you need to talk to yourself and say this year the spirit of laziness i curse you out of my life cost you out an assignment you can do now you sit down and say i will do it on wednesday you get zero right another assignment you get zero 
they just they, they solve a question in class they say just copy it and get 10 marks say i will do it later on. look procrastination you must attack it this year hallelujah you are working in the office of your boss because you think you come for koinonia and the person you are working for is here it's no guarantee to be lazy i will fire you i employ you you are not doing what i employ in the name of jesus i will fire you and you will come back and you will hear me preach absolutely absolutely there is truly no food for a lazy man let me tell you the truth you must get up and and be serious about your destiny and work there are some of us this year you have no business with relationship if you are passing and you see any beautiful lady just say blood of jesus and pass because this year is a year to you your own reign is coming to give you grace to stand up no responsible parent will give a daughter to somebody who doesn't know where he's going are you hearing what i'm saying very important but i believe that as we contend tonight in this miracle service it's going to be a very fast walk for me i think this this is it happening to you if if we close right now i believe that you would have left with something many of us here belong to this category this laziness category right because social media facebook twitter has and 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 bbm has massaged our life of laziness something you can get up and do you see a lot of people just to walk from one place to the other you are taking a bike huh? laziness it's not like you are in a hurry for anything you just load your phone and sit down in the afternoon you are not working you are not doing anything you are a liability to everybody around you and you are just you are you are sending yarrow boys as a student for instance to go and buy you mr biggs four five thousand they bring everything you lie down with phone that you force out of your father or mother and you are making calls in the daytime even a worker is not doing that you ping your life out and the person you are pinging is in the office making money you are there struggling the day you call him he stops responding to you please don't be a liability to anybody this year whoever has been ignoring you is because you are becoming a pest rise up and begin to be hard working and you will become friends again are you hearing what i'm saying especially for the brothers brothers say amen. amen let me talk to you for one minute before we start praying this year please please something must change there are some people sir five years six years no job not because they they have never taken their cv anywhere say, but my uncle said it now that uncle said it's wicked You came to stay in your friend's house when you stayed in his house he was a student he graduated served and is working you are still staying in his house he has gotten a job you are still staying in his house whoever that friend is drive that person out after miracle service tell him in the name of jesus christ i appreciate you three years is enough time for you to sit down get koinonia messages 2012 13 14 it will liberate you please out of my house sometimes you need to push some people into their breakthrough over pampering destroys hallelujah over pampering destroys there are times you need to get up and challenge yourself they send you money in two weeks you're already calling again laziness you won't do anything you hear that there is scholarship free there are many graduates many graduates you win is out they won't apply i think it finished today they won't do anything you said god told you you'll be an entrepreneur Huh? and you are not doing anything you've never gotten up to go for any seminar to build yourself you see a seminar you reject it you are not watching anything on youtube you are not going to sit and learn under people you are just sitting down bragging around with nonsense that's what a lot of young people are doing around huh? god blesses you with fifty thousand that can start something that can bless you you use it and buy a suit to prove a point to the people who are busy building their destinies they are not even seeing the point you must change this year in the name of jesus christ fear and laziness we are going to pray three serious prayer points the moment we pray these three prayer points tonight we'll start with the sick people we'll start ministering to the sick people as soon as we pray the three prayer points please begin to write your prayer requests while we minister those outside can you shout hallelujah 
One more time, shout hallelujah. The Lord will visit you in a mighty way in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Rise up on your feet and let's pray. Success is not automatic. There are laws. There are laws. This is our year of the rain. God has spoken to us. Shown us the loopholes. Lift your hands and begin to thank God for this word tonight. He that he loves, he chastises. Bless his name. Bless his name. Lift your hands inside and outside. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father, for this word. It has come to clean me up. It has come to purify me. It has come to challenge me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Prayer point number one. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please say it like you believe it. In the name of Jesus. I receive grace. To align my mindset. To that of the word of God. Every thinking pattern. Every thought process. That is not of God. I challenge you. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Father give me the mindset of victory. I'm tired of carrying ideologies. Some of us have ideologies about church. We have ideologies about praying in tongues. Ideologies about the Holy Spirit. Ideologies about prosperity. Ideologies about miracles. Ideologies about responsibility. About marriage that are antagonistic to the ways of God. The first miracle tonight is to pray. I submit my mentality. I submit my thought pattern. Please pray. Pray from your heart. I refuse to be limited. There is still a place for champions in life. There is still a place for the great. For you can never rise above your thought pattern. You can never rise above your ideology. You may have held on to it for years. It's time to probe your ideologies. It's time to probe your ideologies. It's time to re-examine your mindset. Let this mind be in me that was in Christ Jesus. The mindset of victory. I don't see defeat in my life. I don't see defeat with God. I am unlimited. With God, I am unbeatable. With God, I am a champion. Ay, 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 ay. Pray. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. For though I fall, yet I will rise again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. You are going to challenge that spirit of laziness. Are you getting my point? Fear and laziness. Let's combine it together. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I challenge every spirit of fear. For God has not given me the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind therefore I declare that fear is banished from my life I refuse to fear and I challenge laziness 
from today I receive the grace to be diligent no more laziness it's time to take action lift your voice and begin to pray time to take action 2015 time to take financial steps 2015 time to take spiritual steps 2015 time to take intellectual steps go ahead and pray oh in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of fear fear of death fear of past failure every intimidation inside and outside pray pray i cause the spirit of fear i cause the spirit of fear i'm a champion i can make it i can break barriers i can break barriers i am well able i am not weak i am strong in the strength of the lord and i cause laziness i cause laziness laziness to study the word spiritual laziness mental laziness physical laziness hallelujah last prayer point as we pray this prayer point my goodness i already sense the power of god a mighty way that's right as we pray this very prayer point the healing power of god will begin to move hallelujah i'm going to request those who are sick those who came specifically for healings you will find your way as hold on let's pray first before you come i'd like you to come believing that you will part with that sickness forever hallelujah the last prayer point say in the name of jesus oh god reveal to me the strategy for possessing my blessing reveal to me the strategy in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray lord i cry what is the strategy what is the strategy come on pray koinonia i cry into the spirit of wisdom show me the strategy for my prosperity show me the strategy for my blessing show me the strategy for my lifting show me the strategy to get the attention of my destiny helpers show me the strategy for the church growth show me the strategy for the expansion of my business show me the strategy for five points show me strategy for first class show me the strategy to pass the job show me the strategy yeah, 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 yeah. Show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny. Show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny. Pray. Show me the strategy. Oh yes, the strategy is revealed in the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. Make sure you are praying tonight. Show me the strategy to open me up to the next level of destiny. Show me the strategy. I'm tired of making mistakes. I'm tired of moving in circles. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. I'm tired of marking time. It's time to break forth. Hallelujah. 
begin to pray now and say God visit me we are going to do the Holy Ghost will do a very quick walk very quick walk hallelujah those who are sick I'd like you to come up and line up here very quickly if you came here for the miracle service for healing please come and line up ushers help them coordinate them let's have it very quickly while that is happening make sure you write your request there is a mystery of answered prayer in this house make sure please if you have not written your prayer request start writing it i don't care what the situation is i like you to write it and let's drop it before god you are worthy to be glorified you are worthy oh mighty god you are worthy to be glorified you are worthy, Lord. hallelujah those of you in front i know you came here because of the testimonies you have had i want you to know that your situation will not be different are you hearing what i'm saying i want you to believe in the power of god there are certain conditions listen to me there are conditions in this place that are entirely demonic hallelujah it's going to be a fast one i don't know if we'll have time to take testimonies or not but because there i i really i really really need to rush with time and let's do a lot please if we end late today i apologize in advance we'll do our best to kill time but please wait because god has something to do in your life hallelujah praise the lord father we give you praise it's called a miracle service we thank you for the anointing of the spirit in the name of jesus everybody make sure you participate now if there are, if you have loved ones who are sick you can connect you can tell them to connect praise the lord you don't need to come out for them but you can call them or do whatever and tell them look connect to what god is doing hallelujah we bless the name of the lord worship team help us praise the lord father we give you all the praise and we trust you to glorify the name of your son right now in jesus name go ahead please who brought this lady who brought this lady who came with her please if you brought somebody let's know please we are not faking it here what's what's wrong with her legs who brought her my dear look at me what's wrong with your leg huh? you what there's a wound in my leg my leg is swollen your leg is swollen i'm looking in the spirit and i'm seeing a charm look at me what what did you say you sat in what I woke up so they you woke up and you saw your leg. leg it's not a wound this is a charm in the name of jesus i break it i curse it look at me you've not been able to walk i can walk okay look at I me keep coming out look at me pause. it's coming out with pause i curse it look at me just look at me keep your legs just look at me don't look at your legs look at me look at me not don't look at the legs in the name of Jesus, walk, come. come. Just come. Don't look at me. Look at me. Come, walk. Come on, give Jesus praise. Look at what is happening. <laughs> See, she's even surprised. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Can you climb up here? Climb by yourself. It's witchcraft. Don't be afraid. Help her if she needs any help. Okay, come. Move your legs. Just do what I'm doing. Move your legs. Move your legs. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. I break that power of witchcraft right now. I release that. Come on now, Koinonia. Give Jesus praise. God is healing people in this place. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that anyone that has orchestrated anything 
for you to fall into in the name of Jesus Christ this night I command those powers to be broken in the name of Jesus my dear it never returns to you again and this veil that I see over you in the spirit I command that veil to go now in the name of Jesus Christ give God praise help us worship him please let's hold Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Yep. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. I'd like to know what, what really happened to him. Tell, you are the one who brought him. No, no, no. Talk, talk on his behalf. Let's save time, please. Said so I have been sick since 1980, 1998. 1998. Yes. Is he hearing what I'm saying? Yes, he hearing. Okay. Can. Bless you, Daddy. Can't since 1998, what's yes. the sickness? Liver. Liver problem. Liver problem, sir. Sir, what what are the symptoms? What happens to him? Okay, sir. The belly was swelling. Okay. Mm. I'm going to pray for you right now when i pray for you that swelling will go down now now and you'll be able to walk in the name of jesus christ i cause that spirit your spirit answer to the name of jesus right now i command the swollen stomach to go down right now you see what is happening to you in the name of jesus the heat sensation you're feeling is the power of god thank you jesus heal right now sir please come because the devil wants to use this and put stroke on you um would you mind if, if i ask you to jump will you jump okay just just try go ahead go ahead just go ahead Go ahead. Just lift it as high as you can. Look at me. Don't look at the legs. Go ahead, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right, let's let's try. Just jump a little. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Go. Ahead. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now walk, sir. Come. Just walk as fast as you can. As fast as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. You are healed completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, As soon as I stepped here, I saw this woman tied from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing. Head to toe. And I'm seeing blood all over you. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. What's wrong with her? Um, suddenly, she just grows lean like this. Mommy, There's look no at me. Ache. You will not die. Hold my hands. Just hold my hands. Just hold it. Look at me. Just look at me. Thank you, Jesus. Now I cost this power. Kalabata Kotobaya. Let Mama go now. In the name of Jesus. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I cost that spirit. Let her go now. I lose you. What couldn't she do? Like Parkinson's disease. Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Walk. Come. 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 Climb by yourself. Come. 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 Follow me. Just follow me, Mama. Look at this. Come on now, Koinonia. Give God praise. Can you lift your hands? See, she's laughing. Try to lift your hands, Mama. Can you lift your hands? Can you lift your hands? Is it which of the hands can she lift? Okay, go ahead. Lift, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Bring it down. Lift your hands. 
Come on, Koinonia, give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift your legs. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. I cause that spirit. My mind is released right now. Koinonia, give God praise. Let's celebrate what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that power. Come. I need to pray for you too. Your mother, right? I pray for you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because I'm seeing this thing. If I don't pray for you, it will affect you too. Right now, I curse. Lord, he's a worker in this house. Therefore, I curse that spirit. You are the sister. Lift your hands. If I don't pray for you, you have problem with marriage. You are young now, but we need to pray. This thing is the whole family thing. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. I release you from this act of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ. Salvation returns to this family. Go ahead and massage her legs. Hallelujah. Please, we are going to really, really be fast. As soon as we pray for you, just give room. Usher, start collecting the prayer request. If you have somebody's picture as I come, I may not be able to talk again. And so we'll just lay our hands. Believe God. Believe God that the situation will change in Jesus' name. My God is He's awesome My God is awesome Hallelujah My God is awesome I see He's awesome My God is awesome iron in your leg oh that's what stops you from moving but can you stretch it in the name of Jesus father careful although there is an iron in your leg in the name of Jesus may there be a miracle I command this shorter leg to grow out now by the Spirit of God madam look at me do you want to try walking uh -uh. I'm not asking you what you have. You came here because you believe God can help you. Is that true? You believe that? Okay, as careful as you can, move your legs. You are, you are related to her? Come. Who are you? Your sister, madam? All right. Don't cry. Don't cry. Please. Come, madam. Do you feel pain? You feel pain because of the iron. It's difficult now for us to... But after I pray for you, can you talk to the doctors to look at your legs and look at the iron? They'll be coming on Wednesday. Okay, fine. Father, in the name of Jesus, we agree that as they come on Wednesday and check this leg, they will remove this iron and she will walk normally. Look at, look at this. Look at what the power of God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse that spirit. Let there be a miracle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her have a seat. Please quickly, let's, let's save time. Worship team, help us. Let's not have... They will remove the iron, madam, and you will walk normally in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you. Yes, I need to pray for you, madam. Because as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing pains. I'm seeing pains, um, like abdominal pains. And the Lord is asking me to minister to you. Can I pray for you? 
Hold my hands. Jesus, do a miracle right now. I cause that pain by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please just line them forward. Let them just come forward in the name of Jesus. I don't need to ask you what the situation is. I really want you to believe that. Praise the Lord. I, I don't want you to think that maybe if I don't ask you, it means I don't give value to you. No. It's not even me doing the miracle. Right? It's the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Such an awesome God Such an awesome God Hallelujah Please rise up everybody Rise up everybody We're going to cause every wicked power Please listen Hallelujah Look at me. I told us that one of the benefits and the blessings of prayer is the ability to cause limiting powers. It's called a miracle service. And this is January. Hallelujah. We believe in the full gospel and everything Jesus died to give. Listen, every power that has tied anyone's destiny down, it's time for it to go. Are you listening to me? Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Go ahead and pray and say, Father, every spirit that is not of God looming around my life and my family, please make sure you are praying that as the word of God comes now, there will be mighty, mighty deliverance. Lord, let there be deliverances. Break limitations over people's lives. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 The reason why the reason why we do deliverance is not is not working against the fact that Jesus says we are this and that and that it is on the strength of that the Bible says although he has put all things under his feet he said we do not yet know I hear a lot of people criticize the ministry of deliverance and all of that um, while I know that there are exaggerations here and there let me tell you something the people of God must be subjected to the full weight of all that God's power and anointing can do are you following me now there are people who have struggled here you love god but doors will just not open let me tell you there are powers sitting on people's destiny and by the grace of god by the grace of god i'm going to minister to people right now i see an angel of the lord moving and a lady is going to shout i don't know why god does these things under the anointing when that happens it's a sign that the Spirit of God is ready to move and deliver people. Lift your hands. Hear me, brothers and sisters. It takes the power of God to subdue principalities. And there are some of you right now, both for you and your family, there are forces that will not let you go. But this night, and right now, my goodness, there is the fire of the spirit at the count of three. It's not just a recitation. You're going to shout that name. The name that paid access for your liberty. Bring up, bring them out. My goodness. Deliverance is already happening inside and outside. There will be mighty angels. There is a sword of the spirit. Lord, let there be deliverance. Every family. Every destiny tied under any yoke of bondage, I invoke it in the spirit that at the count of three, those devils are under fire. One, two, three. Come out now. I command powers. Be gone now. I cause principalities. I cause spirits, I cause powers, inside, outside, the angel of the Lord is moving, I command witchcraft, 
send them out spirits of ancestry in the name of Jesus the powers that have tied down men's destinies the forces that have refused to let you go right now I come with an apostolic anointing and in the name that is above all names let fire fall from heaven over your life over your academics over your marriage through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves lift your hands was he shouting one more time please bring them listen for some of you what will happen right now is not just for you alone but for your family just keep them down there hallelujah Malakata. and I see this affecting many ladies because I see marriage is being tied Makoto Tobakata as you shout that name Jesus you may not even know that that thing is in your family but all of a sudden physical fire physical fire will begin to burn right now on the count of three I challenge those powers one two three go 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 I cause that spirit delay delay I cause that spirit inside and outside I command that devil of delay to go now I command that power tying your destiny I command that power tying your breakthrough I command that power tying your family the price has been paid by the blood of Jesus I break every legal access by the blood of Jesus I break every legal access by the blood of Jesus I break every legal access by the blood of Jesus I release marriages I release miracles I command breakthrough fire is burning I command breakthrough I set those altars on fire I set those covens on fire hallelujah lift your hands where are those who have been oppressed academically lord where are they there are people who would have moved forward as i speak right now fire is coming on people fire is coming release the academics now release the academics now release the academics now the year of the rain release the academics now I command those powers. I challenge them. They must leave now. There is a family the Lord is showing me. You have been under stagnation for 10 years. 10 solid years. But as I prophesy right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command that family to be released now. I command that family to be released now. I command that family to be released now. Hallelujah. In the name that is above all names, I pray and I prophesy. The Lord is showing me men whose hands have been tied. And, and see, when your hands are tied, it means the capacity for favor and the capacity to move forward is not there. Lift your hands. 
some of you will feel physical fire physical fire on your hands there are chains burning lord where are they let the sword of favor break them free from every oppression right now as i speak anyone whose hands are tied in the spirit i command those hands to be loose now i command those hands to be loose now the fire is falling 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 inside and outside falling i break the chain my goodness there are angels outside the fire is falling hallelujah hallelujah in one minute lift up the exact situation you want god to change begin to talk to him go ahead before prophecy comes please don't keep quiet no matter how impossible it is there is an anointing inside and outside make sure you are talking to the lord this and that and that are my requests do a miracle some of you need a 24 hour miracle now all those here in front in the name of jesus and by the fire of the holy spirit at the count of three not only will those devils leave they must release your family members i speak to every spirit you know my voice i represent the embassy of heaven and in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you will leave now. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Never to return. Never to return. Never to return. Never to return. Go. Go. Hallelujah stretch your hands towards this request your requests are there please in case you've not dropped yours locate it quickly to the ushers it's not a ritual there is a mystery of answered prayer hallelujah the bible says how that Ezekiah took the request before god the threats may be joblessness it may be impossible situations as i kneel upon this request and we pray together just for one or two minutes see i assure you i assure you you will return with a testimony except you refuse to come and testify stretch your hands and begin to pray thank you jesus
receive every prophetic word every prophetic word I don't care whatever it is that you came here with. remember last week we thought that words activate spiritual laws hallelujah I want you to receive for some of you there will be an instant performance in the name of Jesus I want to start by praying for families every family that has been in a state of stagnation please lift your hands inside and outside I'm prophesying now every family represented in this place in the name of Jesus Christ in this year of the rain I command that between now and next month miracle service let there be dramatic breakthroughs let there be dramatic breakthroughs let there be dramatic breakthroughs by the agency of the spirit we activate every law that needs to be in motion in the name of jesus the laws of favor the laws of destiny help us in the name of jesus i pray anyone here who has been under any academic bondage from secondary school to master's phd right now in this year of the rain i command speed for you i declare move forward now move forward now make progress now move forward now in the name of jesus i pray for anything that has died in your hands business the works of your hands relationships in the name that is above all names let resurrection happen in your life now please believe what i'm saying believe what i'm saying god is changing people's situations this is how god changes situations by the power of his prophetic word i say it again whatever has died i speak to that which was dead come back to life now i command every blood condition whoever is standing here and you are ss right now we change that genotype to aa in the name of jesus christ i cause hepatitis be crushed to the root in the name of jesus we cause hiv you leave god's people in the name of jesus everyone here who has been oppressed by spirits you sleep in the night and they oppress you in the name of jesus let the fire of the holy ghost bring deliverance to you now let the fire of the holy spirit bring deliverance to you now there are people here it works for others until it gets to your turn then it fails right now in the name of jesus i command that the last time that tragedy happened in your life the power of god is moving on this world moving strong on this world the last time it happened the mystery behind that tragedy i caused it in the name of jesus i declare that in this january between now and next month's miracle service what you could not do in the whole of 2014 may my god empower your hand to do it in the name of jesus christ i pray for every dying cgpa here hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus i command it to come alive there are people here 
students your true status is first class but something has tied you down your true status is four points but something has tied whatever that something is i lift it off your life now in this year 2015 go back to your departments and break barriers in the name of jesus i pray for every business here whatever has stopped it from working in the name of jesus we command it to come alive now whoever needs to come into your life between now and next miracle service and open a door for you i call them forth now i call them forth now i declare whoever is jobless and looking for a job here or your family members in the name that is above all names where they say there are no jobs we create jobs now believe it believe it we create jobs now in the name of jesus christ whoever has been assigned by my father to favor you and has refused to respond to you in the name of jesus may the lord compel them to respond in the name of jesus i pray for your spiritual life whatever has robbed you of an effective prayer life every worry everything that has robbed you i command fresh impartation of prayer grace receive it now fresh impartation of prayer fire whatever makes you study the bible and you don't understand may the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now and i pray for you every habit in your life masturbation pornography and any other thing that is not of god that has robbed you of your christian integrity you love god but you find things pushing you that embarrass you right now i agree with you be delivered now i agree with you be delivered now hallelujah whoever is being eyed for death in this place that the devil has vowed that you will not see february miracle service i'm praying by the mystery of the blood i open that door of gate of, of death and i command in the name of jesus that your soul is ransomed from the gates of death in the forthcoming election you are preserved in the name of jesus whoever comes to destroy you will die before he gets to you in the name of jesus as you travel on the road you are preserved you cannot be a victim of accident in the name of jesus i establish the covenant of peace upon your life you are protected by the angels of heaven i declare right now that in 2015 living from hand to mouth that spirit of begging living from hand to mouth by the mystery of divine supply i bail you out of that wicked situation in the name of jesus i pray for you whatever you wrote here as a request right now i agree with you that it is turned into a testimony i say it one more time whatever you wrote here as a request i agree with you we turn it into a testimony by the power that turned the rod of moses into a serpent and back into a rod i turn what was here as a as a prayer request by the power of the holy ghost let it become a testimony in your hands in the name of jesus every factor that must be in place for you to stand here and testify i release it in the name of jesus i pray 
we pray for our lecturers every lecturer that has been victimized and any lecturer that the devil is eyeing to bury this year in the name of jesus by the mystery of the blood they are preserved i'm speaking any position that belongs to any god-fearing lecturer that is being truncated by powers of darkness we stand as the parliament of heaven in this city and we enforce compliance in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you if there is one thing that should happen in your life let it be indescribable favor 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 i prophesy from the depths of my heart if you have never seen favor happen in your life you will see favor that will make you cry financial favor marital favor academic favor spiritual favor receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah lift your hands and bless the lord thank you jesus hallelujah now you're here you've never given your heart to the lord jesus you've never made him lord of your life we're out of time please keep standing everybody let's honor these people you are here and you have never given your life to christ remember we said the basis for your victory is what jesus christ has done wherever you are or you have once given your life to christ but for some reason you found your life going haywire and you need to make your ways right don't say time is gone please wherever you are inside or outside you might be a new student you've been a christian all your life or you may be new in this town i pray right now that you respond to the call of god wherever you are you are returning to jesus or you are making decisions for the first time please make your way to the front be bold about it be bold about it i know god is talking to somebody don't wait for anybody to come you are the first person find your way to the front god bless you god bless you please make sure you celebrate them as they come celebrate them god bless you those outside no matter how far you are make your way to the front jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men i will be ashamed of you before my father if you deny me before men young and old make your way you are not too far don't let the devil say you are far make your way run to the front run to the front forget about your neighbor or who you came with it's a personal affair tonight hallelujah thank you so much for coming lift your hands as i leave you to pray say after me jesus i believe in you i believe you died for me tonight i repent of my sins i obtain forgiveness and cleansing wash me with the blood of jesus i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that i'm a changed person the power of sin is broken over my life and i'll never be the same in the name of jesus now keep your hands lifted father thank you you brought this ones to your throne may their decisions be genuine preserve them by the power of the holy spirit they will never be the same i break the power of sin over your life you have eternal life into your spirit and i declare that you're of the family of faith in hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us